Welcome back, guys. Condor again. Uh, the last one kind of ended abruptly. It took me a little by surprise. <laughs> this is chapter five. Good morning, apparently. And a stupid clock is still clicking. Come on. Long and murky rains, the sun eventually shines. But my cloudy days remain with this school. To me, every day is depressing, and time goes by too fast. Yep. Life without purpose is tasteless and boring. Exactly, I've been saying that for years now. Today, a girl and an old man, they came to school. Just one look and everyone knew they were a pair of wealthy father and daughter. Okay. Oh, hello. This is a nice looking school. Okay. A new student? Hello, my name is Toy. <laughs> I'm looking forward to... Alright, take your seat at the end of the room. What a jerk. Class, be still. I'm going to check the timetable for next week. It won't take long. Hey, you're not from around here, are you? What the hell gave you the first clue? Yes, I'm from Hatin City. It's far away from here. Why did you transfer here? Your school wasn't good enough? <laughs> <laughs> Who talks like this? I mean, really. It's not that. It's because my parents got divorced. So I... Ooh. December 5th, a new student. But it seems like everybody ignored her. I know the feeling. December 9th. A student standing atop the school building started leaning down and she fell. Did I jump? Both of her legs broke, bones punched through the skin, blood gushed out. Oh my, compound fractures. I never thought this way of suicide could cause such a horrible death. <sighs> Makes you think. December 10th, everyone seemed to forget the whole thing. But within a day, yeah, that sounds about right. I have the feeling that people around, around this school are heartless. Jesus. Today at the library, I found a strange painting. It felt like it was looking at me. I've just found a secret room behind the mirrors. It's bad when I was looking out from the windows of another classroom. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. A rock crashed through the glass and hit my eye hard. Why is there a nine there? See that nine? It was blurry, but I thought I saw her. Looks like they replaced the broken glass, but every time I give it a glance, I see her blurry shadow. Is she the one who made my eye like this? I can't be sure of anything. December 14th. Another student dead. They say he used a pen to pierce through his ears. Oh! Wow! I've heard of a lot of ways to go, but that self-inflicted. Holy shit. And more terrifying, he laughed crazily before he died, even after he died. <laughs> Still, just like the first time, everyone kept ignoring it. I don't know if they really ignored whatever happened, or if or they were simply too terrified to talk about it. But in the end, why did any of this even happen? I don't think the deaths are coincidental. December 15th. I'm in the secret room I accidentally found out, and here I found a page from a calendar, a piece of paper with the alphabet written on it, that's from the first guy, and a pen on the table. So I circled the dates of the deaths, 9, 11, 14. Huh. I think everything happened for a reason. <coughs> ah. Right then, there was a scream. I ran to the classroom in panic to check what was happening. Another death. No, not just one. The number increased. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 
There was a crazy thought in my mind after the reasons for these deaths. About the reasons for these deaths. 9 11 14 15. I gotta remember that. I decided to spend the night here in the secret room. At the school, the night passes by in silence. Strange silence. And what's stranger than the silence is I'm not alone. The new student toy. <laughs> I'm saying it like toy. I don't care if I'm mispronouncing that. I'm not whatever language that is. Toy was standing at the secret room's door. Then she opened the mirror and walked in. Now I can be sure of one thing. All of the misfortunes... Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. All of the misfortunes, they started when she came to this school. I heard this. I heard her steps coming closer and closer, but I made it into the closet opposite to the desk I often used to write my diary. I was cowering in there with fear and anger. Two emotions blended with each other inside me. Dots. When I woke up, she'd gone and the sun had risen. December 23rd. More deaths. I think she killed them all. Why doesn't anyone else suspect her? Isn't she dead? Why would they suspect a dead person? I think you're the only person that can see her, kid. 9, 11, 14, 15, 23. I think that's going to be significant. Why just me? I don't know. 9, 11, 14, 15, 23. Right now I'm at the library. Many students of other classes have transferred away after seeing the deaths. Well, hell, I would too. The school has gotten dark and gloomy. I don't want to be here any longer. I want to get out of here. But then... Dots. More dots. March 13th. Wait, December? March? A new semester has started and I don't have to care about that school anymore. It feels so good to be out of that corpse-filled school. But I'm also sad because I won't see him anymore. 14th. Tonight I'm going back to that school and leave everything involved along with the sins I've committed behind. I don't want to have anything related to that haunted place. Everything I've taken from the secret room, I'll hide them at different places where they will never be found. Those were the treasures that I found. Maybe they were not supposed to be found, sir. Uh, so that's the idea. I still hope someone will discover all of this. Despite the fact that it is a very dangerous thing to be done. Despite the fact that it is a very dangerous thing to be done for now. And if my wish ever came true, I'll gladly take the consequences. Goodbye, stormy days.